the DJI introduced the Mavic series in September 2016, which was a compact and foldable drone with professional-grade camera capabilities. Two years later, they followed up the series by releasing the Mavic 2 Pro. It was the smallest drone to feature a 20-megapixel 1-inch type camera sensor with Hasselblad's natural color solution technology. It really was an impressive feat, but there were some shortcomings. As a result, three years later in 2021, DJI returns with their highly anticipated DJI Mavic 3. Undoubtedly, this new drone packed some seriously impressive features. But that's not all. What's more impressive is that DJI made all of these improvements while reducing its weight. There are several drones that the Mavic 3 can be compared with, but the Mavic 2 Pro seems more appropriate as it held its crown for the best flagship drone for so long. If this sounds interesting, then let's get started. Content creation is the main focus when it comes to DJI Mavic drones. So, starting the comparison from the camera sensor is a great place to begin with. Firstly, the new Mavic 3 features a dual camera setup, including a prime lens and a telephoto lens. While the Mavic 2 Pro is only limited to one. Although the main cameras in both drones share the same Hasselblad natural color solution, the new Mavic 3 packs a professional grade 4x3-inch CMOS sensor with a 24mm lens compared to the Mavic 2 Pro's 1-inch CMOS sensor with 28mm lens equivalent. The new Mavic 3 has a wider field of view of 84 degrees, which can be extended to a whopping 108 degrees with an additional wide lens accessory available in the DJI store. This significantly boosts the Mavic 3's capability to capture more dramatic nature shots or to include more people and buildings in footage regardless of the urban as well as industrial areas. The Mavic 2 Pro, on the other hand, tops out only at 77 degrees viewing angle. Another upgrade for the Mavic 3 is the additional 1x2-inch CMOS sensor with a 162mm tele lens that offers up to 28 times zoom. This gives Mavic 3 the freedom to bring distant people and objects visually closer, offering a more dynamic and creative perspective to the shooters. While both drones shoot images in 20 megapixels, the real difference is in videography. The Mavic 2 Pro can shoot videos up to 4K at 30 frames per second. The Mavic 3, on the contrary, achieves 5.1K at 50 frames per second and also allows for slow motion video in 4K at 120 frames per second. Also, something to keep in mind the Cine version of the Mavic 3 supports Apple's ProRes 422HQ codec for capturing more natural color something that is missing on the Mavic 2 Pro. Meanwhile, due to the large sensor, the Mavic 3 not only shoots video in high resolution, but also captures more light tremendously well, especially in low light situations. It offers a better dynamic range than the Mavic 2 Pro as well. With 12.8 stops of native dynamic range, it retains more details in shadows and highlights. Make no mistake, the Mavic 2 Pro is undeniably a powerful drone, but the new Mavic 3 seems to have unrivaled performance for a drone of its size. It's a wonder how DJI has been able to make their Mavic 2 lighter than the Mavic 2 Pro. Weighing around 12 grams less than the preceding model, the Mavic 3 also has a significantly improved wind speed resistance. The obstacle avoiding sensor has also been an upgrade for the DJI Mavic 3 with an infrared sensor at the bottom of the aircraft. It features the APAS 5.0 that can sense obstacles from every side and move away. And for transmitting live footage, the new drone comes with DJI OcuSync 3 Plus that offers the 15 km max transmission range, whereas the OcuSync 2.0 from Mavic 2 Pro could transmit live videos within only 8 km range. Besides, the Mavic 2 Pro could transmit HD videos at 30 frames per second, and the Mavic 3 can transmit full HD videos at 60 frames per second, ensuring a clear view from the bird's eyes. The 
DJI has also lessened up the hassle for cinematographers. As the DJI Mavic 3 Cine comes with 1TB of built-in storage compared to the 8GB of Mavic 2 Pro. So, you'll be able to capture raw footage as much as you want without the hassle of removing the microSD card too often. The battery life has also been a huge upgrade for the DJI Mavic 3. Previously, you could fly the Mavic 2 Pro for only 31 minutes, whereas the new drone offers a maximum flight time of 46 minutes. So, you won't have to miss the perfect shots due to less battery life. Along with the Mavic 3, a new remote controller named DJI RC Pro was released. Although this comes bundled with the Mavic 3 Cine Combo, it's also available at the DJI Store. Just like the Mavic 2 Pro Smart Controller, the new RC Pro also comes with a 5.5-inch Full HD high bright display. But the similarities end here, as the new RC Pro comes with an extended transmission distance with a mightily impressive 3 hours of runtime that can be fully charged within 90 minutes. Taking everything into consideration, it's safe to say that the only thing that keeps the Mavic 2 Pro ahead is the pricing. But with such upgrades, the high price tag of the Mavic 3 is surely worthy enough. The new drone offers more flight time, a big jump in the camera performance, along with ProRes codec for the best aerial shots. So, if you want to have the best prosumer drone by your side, the Mavic 3 is sure to impress you with its overall performance. Imaging above everything was the tagline for the newly released Mavic 3 and from all this discussion, it's pretty clear that that wasn't just a bluff. For years, the Mavic series has defined innovation in aerial filmmaking and the Mavic 3 continues this tradition by bringing some impressive upgrades over the Mavic 2 Pro. The Mavic 3 was a highly anticipated product and its impressive specs make the wait worthwhile. What do you think of this new drone? Let us know in the comments below.